Jason. 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 Are you awake? Yes. Dude, don't you think this camp is so cool? I mean, there are tons of activities. Tennis, swimming, shooting, and that's just the stuff I saw everyone else doing. Yes, yes, the camp is great. Where's Bob at? Why didn't he come camping? I don't know. I think he went to P.F. Chang's last night, and he probably made his Chang sauce a little too spicy to put on his Chang chicken, and the Chang sauce probably made him Chang himself right there in the P.F. Chang's. What was that? I think it's a ghost. Ooh, it's me, Ghost Bob. In life, I was at P.F. Chang's, and I ordered Chang chicken, and the Chang sauce was too hot. And I changed all over the P.F. Chang's at the P.F. Chang's table. And now, the P.F. Chang's chicken made me a ghost cat. Didn't we already do an opening with Bob as a ghost? Jason. Hello, Ned. Hey. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Guess what? What? We are on Goosebumps, book number 45. Ghost Camp. Be all that you can't see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Let me tell my best friend, Bob. Okay. Hey, Bob. Best friend? What? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Acquaintance-ish. The joke's on them. Harry and his brother, Alex, are dying to fit in at Camp Spirit Moon. Not true. Hey, time out. Jason, take a shot. Oh. Uh, snap, snap, suck it, dude. But we don't even know what the shot is yet, It's Ned. irrelevant. You take one. All right. Fuck you, Ned. Mm -hmm. it, it smells shitty. Mm, it oh, <laughs> tastes like a liquid Tootsie Roll and not in a positive way. <laughs> but camp has so many weird traditions, like the goofy camp salute. Hold on, Ned, take a shot. It does smell like a Tootsie Pop. It, it smells it, like it. It kind of tastes like one too, but not in a good way. Not in the way you want it to taste. Like the goofy- Bob, can you please get through the back of the book? Just whenever you're ready. Come on. Like the goofy camp salute. The odd camp greeting. Bob, take a shot. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> he gave his to himself? <laughs> I love the commitment. The odd camp greeting, and the way the old campers love to play joke on jokes on new campers. Joke on new camper. Then the jokes start to get really serious. Random wheel <laughs> chat. Well, it's all of us. Then the jokes start to get really serious, really creepy, really scary. First a girl sticks her arm in the campfire, then a boy jams a pole through his foot. Still, they're jokes, right? Dark ending. Dark ending. Dark ending. Dark ending. Dark ending. Dark ending. I'm pretty sure that's what it tastes like when a nightmare shits in your mouth. Oh, uh, it's so, it's gotten worse. The first one, it's I'm been, like, this isn't that bad. It's been five minutes since we took the first one and it's gotten worse. Let's go to Amy for the shot. What's in this horrible abomination? Amy? Thanks guys, today's shot is the happy camper. Marshmallow vodka, fireball, creme de cacao. Cheers. Oh. 
Oh, that's fine. That's just fine. Tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Meet Andy and his brother, Harry. Well, Andy Alex, it's Harry and Alex. Fuck, I just had three of these shots Andy. in a row, Bob. I know, <laughs> I know, I know who they are. Oh, fucking meet Harry and his brother, Alex. And they are on their way to summer camp like weeks after. Yeah, halfway into the summer. Because their parents fucked up and sent them late or something. I don't that's, know. That's what it said. So the one important thing we learn on this bus ride is that Harry's brother, Alex, has the voice of an angel. God, did Harry just like swoon over his brother's voice? But we learned something from Alex. He's gonna grow up to be gay. I, I think I'm gonna have to cut that, Ned. What? I didn't say he was gonna grow up to be a fat Harry and Alex walk into Camp Spirit Moon and it's deserted. The cabins look empty. They are all playing tricks on them. Uh, the campers all show up. It's a big joke. There's we, fucking, we were hiding in the woods. There's oh. jokes left and right. We fucking. got jokes. Like their, their motto is, what's their thing they keep saying? Like, yo, spirits. They each give each other a left-handed salute, placing the hand on the nose, then swinging it straight out in the oh, air. you're right. Wow. It was like a fucking Hitler move. Yo, spirits. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, Yo spirits. spirits. Okay, so they meet Marv, Uncle Marv, who is the leader of the camp. And Uncle Marv, here I am. Thank you, ma'am. Here's a special treat, Uncle Marv, at your seat. Here you go, here I am. Uncle Mo, thank you, ma'am. This will be a treat. Uncle Mo, here I am, while you eat. Yay, now do it for Terry. What, it's your birthday too? We're twins. So Uncle Marv, the camp leader, shows Harry and his brother Alex to their cabin uh, where they're settling in. And Harry notes that there's all these puddles of blue goo all over the floor. Doesn't ask anybody what it is. Doesn't comment to it to his brother about it. Doesn't even speculate himself. Like I'm like, oh, must have been popsicle day or something. Like at the very least, because it was sticky. Popsicle day. Well, what the fuck else would you think? Like if you're like, if you stepped in all these puddles of blue goo, left all these melting popsicles all well, that, around. But you know what? I you could at least speculate. You're just gonna see him be like, that's fucking weird. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Jerk off on my brother's voice. Blah blah blah. Did you just call a random wheel shot? You know how bad this shot is. I know, but I'm willing to gamble it at least once more. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. It's not as bad when you don't do three, three in a row. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. They get settled in the bunk, and then before you know it, it's nighttime, and they go out to the campfire where all the camp, uh, the campers have reemerged and come out. And Uncle Marv has gathered them all around for not one, but two ghost stories. We're gonna tell the two camp ghost stories. And I'm like, everybody's already been at camp at this point. Can I taste your beer? Oh, please. <laughs> oh, damn it. I thought it was very odd that they would have two camp ghost stories. Yeah, like, spread it out for the rest of the summer, Marv. Well, well it clearly reeked at me of R.L. Stein, like, did this not... Ghost Riders. ...did not have enough in the book going on. Because clearly, when they tell the two stories, it's like, oh, the, these two stories are what is going to unfold over the course of the book. Here's what happened, too, when he was telling them. He, he tells the first story... Which oh, is about... It's kind of spooky. It's about campers going deeper and deeper in the woods uh, to find a perfect camping spot. And then they keep hearing this kathump, kathump, kathump sound. And they're like, what is that? And it turns out they they're made... They're standing on a monster's heart. They made camp on a monster's heart and, and the eats monster them. eats them. And it's like, okay, that's a weird ghost story. And all the kids seem scared by it, but okay. Except for the two protagonists. Except, except for Harry and Alex. Um, and and then the one Uncle Marv goes... And like an interlude. And now on to our next story. Like yeah. what the f you don't we don't need that. So while they're telling ghost stories, they're making hot dogs around the big bonfire. They're waiting in line. Harry meets Lucy, who is a dark raven haired girl that he falls for immediately. Yeah, he, he finds her really attractive, yeah. Yeah, he totally gets his first boner for first love at summer camp. He wants to put his hot dog in her. He's bun. like getting ready to reenact the Mariah Carey video for Always Be My Baby. <laughs> And 
and she, he's cooking his wiener. It falls in the fire, and he's like, ah, shit. And Lucy's like, I got you, bro. She throws her hand in there, grabs his wiener, slaps him in the face a couple of times, sticks it back on the stick. And Harry's like, are you okay? Like, how are, how's your arm? And he, Lucy's like, oh, yeah, uh, 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 kind of burned a little. Ah, uh, but, oh, uh, no, There's I'll no be marks. okay. There's, There's no marks on it. No There's marks, no soot. No it looks nothing. Yeah. And he's like, Whoa, spooky. So Uncle Marv launches into the second ghost story of the evening, which is about a camp much like this one, uh, where a fog suddenly descends upon the camp and rolls over the campers, consumes everything, and then when the fog rolls out, <clears throat> everybody's dead. You're back with your family now where there's nothing to be afraid of, except that fog that turns people inside out. Uh-oh, it's seeping in. Stupid cheap weather stripping. <laughs> Which lo and behold, a fog starts to roll in. Just like that one. And everyone's freaking out. Oh, we can't see anything. We can't see anything. Fog clears. It's just Alex and Harry. Yeah. It's just Harry's Alex. And and Alex is freaking out. Alex Harry's Harry. like, no, no, they're probably just playing another Camp Night Moon prank yeah. on us. What else? Spirit Moon. Yeah, Spirit Moon. So let's just go back to our bunk, and I bet they'll all be there. They get back to their bunk, and lo and behold, uh, they're, the, everyone's back in the bunk. Like, oh, oh, we got you, you We got bitch. you good. We pranked you. And that's where you meet. Uh, Alex and Harry's bunk mates. There's Sam, Joey, Joey and, and Elvis. Elvis. Alex and Elvis um, become besties over singing. So they're both like singing songs and doing whatever. But yeah, Alex is like, I'm gonna try out for the camp musical. And Isn't Elvis, there a talent show because like, I'm talented? And like Elvis is too. Um, oh, and, yeah. Except that Alex is a really good singer and Elvis is fucking terrible. Very shitty. Have we ever talked on the show about how we got Bob to dress up as Elvis for to officiate my wedding? Zoom in to Bob's wiener. You were always on my mind. So from this point onward, we get a lot of shenanigans where like we've seen Lucy stick her hand in the fire and be okay, but then uh, Joey's uh, setting up a tent and he somehow stumbles and manages himself through his foot. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, it missed my toes." It's fine, but it's through the foot. I, I oh yeah, it was just like. Uh, and then at night in the bunk, Harry sees a kid floating above, above his, his bunk. bed, and, and so then you learn with Harry talking to his brother Alex that Alex is, and I thought this was kind of cool. Alex has seen weird shit on his own that we haven't seen in the book. Yep. So both Harry and Alex are like, wow, there's some spooky shit going on here. Well, I guess we better continue doing Hanging regular camp. camp shit, I guess. So Harry gets pulled aside like it must be the next night or we've probably jumped around, who knows. And it turns out to be Lucy. Lucy needs something. Harry goes out into the... Fucking oh! yes! Yes! Random shot! Wheel. <laughs> Might as well polish this turd off. <laughs> God! Yes! <laughs> yes! Random shot. Wheel. Oh, fuck. Oh, my <laughs> lord. This, shit. this is fuck ridiculous. This shit. That's fucking horseshit. Fuck this wheel. <laughs> shit. Well, I think we're out of shot, but we still right, have one more to take. All right, we got to do. Wait, what do we... I don't even know. Harry's... Yeah, Lucy pulls Harry out to the woods, says she needs something. She starts talking to Harry again, but I was like... Everything's fucking real. I'm a ghost. They're a ghost. You're like the only one that's not hey, a ghost. Everybody's ghost, ghost. The only way I can escape is if you let me inside your mind. Please, Harry, let me in you. She like goes, she like floats above and then him she and basically starts, like, starts to penetrate. penetrate his face holes. The top of his head. He manages to ward her off. She disappears. He's like, fuck this place. Runs back to the cabin. Smacks up awake Alex. Pulls him out. And and, they're and and while they're bolting, uh, Michael, Harry, Michael bolting, Michael boltoning. What's a good Michael Bolton song I should cut to? <laughs> while 
while they're sprinting through the woods, um, Harry's like, look, everyone here is ghosts. And Alex goes, I know. I know. Uh, Elvis told me that uh, he wants to be in my head. They're all ghosts, and Elvis tried to take over my body. And at this point, as a reader, I was like, so you said no, I don't want you to take over my body. And then you went back to the bunk where you sh shared a bunk with Elvis, and you went to sleep. So they're running through the woods. They start to hear the ka thump, ka thump, ka thump. Ka -thump. Ka -thump. You're on my heart. So they basically start to experience this monster that ate the campers. The first ghost story where the and, they're on the monster's heart. And here's what gets me, and this is very, and this is always what bugged me during about the X Files too. Is like they buy into ghosts, but monsters are where they draw the line. Really? He's like, it's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Just like no, so all the crazy, stupid, all the crazy shit Scully sees still doesn't believe in aliens. Always bugged me. It's good. It's got to be hypnotism or, or mesmerism or something. Scully, it is what it is. You examined an invisible body, remember? I thought I did. Oh! The monster licks him up and is like cactus-like tongue. They're like, no, Alex, we don't believe in monsters. He literally says that to his brother. They believed Material. hard enough that the monster disappeared. And they're like, oh, it worked. Ah! Cock sneeze. <laughs> That's just serendipity. Yeah, go fuck Just respin it, because it hit Bob's jacket. Oh, that's true. No, lad, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you! When did we ever... That he, him being all willy-nilly and wild is not, did not affect where it ended. Absolutely it did. I say we respin it. Can I flip for it? Sure. Hourglass, we don't. We don't respin? Yes. Okay. Obelisk, we do. Okay. Obelisk, we do. Okay. I abide by the coin. Coin is life. Uh, if you're gonna use but it, don't you do have it again. To... Don't Ow! do it again. Fuck your Jason. Jason. Yes. 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 Oh fuck, this doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck you. No, Jason, that totally counts. Wasn't the real spin. It was the beginning of spin. <laughs> it's Jason. <laughs> Monster disappears. Harry's like, oh shit, it worked. Then all of a sudden, all the campers and counselors come out. I was like, no one escapes then their they spirit. they surrounded. Then they just started saying again, we don't believe in ghosts. Bob. We don't believe in ghosts. Bob. They're surrounded. Bob's going to summarize it. Let Bob go. Bob, go. Oh, can I go now? Okay. They get <laughs> Uncle so Marv is like, don't let them go. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good beer, though. Oh, which one Oh, I like the Shandy a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Can I try that? Fuck you. <laughs> you did it again! You Fuck! I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, you gotta go... Ah! I hope you gotta suck the beer out of the shirt. No, you gotta go get liquor from upstairs. <laughs> we should've used those! Grab the fireball, make it have that. <laughs> oh, God, no. Or the marshmallow vodka, I don't care. Oh, no. I'll be that. Was that real? Yep. I thought that was fake. No. <laughs> Puke in the old jacket. This is a There's quality... always a little bit of splashback. This is a quality <laughs> episode, everybody. <laughs> Come on, give me that. There it is. <laughs> Ooh, dude, you're fucked up. It's all that sugar and shit. Oh, I know. Well, at least you're getting it out. You won't be hung over. Why is he throwing up? He's at the same amount as us. <laughs> he can't handle it. Like is he being you. a pussy? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> go hit him. <laughs> Can I take pee? No, no. All my face is right here. Well, <clears throat> so? Fuck your face. <laughs> the only way the ghost can get out of uh, Camp Spirit Moon or whatever is to hitch a ride on a living body and to possess that body. So they're all, they all start arguing about who gets to possess Harry and Alex. And then it, it becomes a whirlwind, like just a white, fuzzy whirlwind of ghosts. And then eventually it just dissipates and Harry and Alex look around and they're like, uh, okay. And they run away. And that's like pretty much the end of the book until they're running through the woods and Alex starts humming really badly a tune, 
And Harry's like, Alex, why, why does your voice sound so bad? Wait a minute, you're not Alex. And the, Alex goes, oh, I'm Elvis, and I possessed your brother. Please don't tell anybody. Dark ending. Hey guys, uh, before Bomb throws up again, uh, what do we all rate this book? Seven and a third. I actually enjoyed it. I also hated the dumb monster thing at the end where they just like wished it away and it was just gone. That was the worst part. That was so stupid. Why? But outside of that, I actually enjoyed it. I'm with Ned on this seven. I liked the idea. I liked how they presented some of the scariness. I thought they, again, they've started these last few books. There's been these moments that seem to. It's pretty dark. The forced possession, essentially. However, I don't feel like it was that interesting of a book because basically it's kids go to camp, everybody's ghosts, and there was no surprise to it. If they would have titled it something different. Like That's true. Regular, regular ghost... kid camp. I would like to rate this book as 7.1875. The ending was predictable. Uh, from the get-go, you know everybody's a ghost, pretty much. And and the fog sweeping over the camp and turning everybody into ghosts is just like, welcome to Dead House. Remember the, the yellow oh, yeah, gas, the yellow gas. Oh, came into that. town and turned everyone into a ghost? It was the same fucking turned thing here. Turned everyone into a dead house. I, <laughs> Before we leave you guys, we do have a couple quick shout outs from Ray in Clifton, Bristol, United Kingdom. I love them. We're fucking international. I love those international shout outs. Uh, Ray says, random shot. Ray from Bristol. Ray, Ray from, from Bristol. Bristol. Oh. Hey, hey, Ray, fuck you. Well, that was book 45, Ghost Cramps. We're never talking about it again. We're never taking a shot again. Fuck Amy. But join us next time for book 46, How to Kill a Monster. Love How to Kill a Monster. Oh, oh God, no. You just invented the shot and I hate you for it. Yo! Which Saluting. <laughs> no, we're doing the salute from the book. I said Ned probably.